Did you know that if you don't make decisions for your own life, at some point, somebody else is going to be making your decisions for you? Hi, my name's Darren Kitterman from Des Moines, Iowa. And today we're going to talk about making decisions. Or sometimes, lack thereof. I had a student of mine in class today, and this, this isn't unique to students. Uh, it happens with adults all the time. But we were writing uh, resumes, and she sat down, told me that she'd, she'd never had a job before. She didn't have any work experience, and so I was going through some exercises to try to teach her that she probably actually has done some things that could demonstrate work experience that we could put on her resume that she didn't realize she had. For example, have you ever babysat? Have you ever mowed a lawn? Have you ever poured concrete? Uh, have you ever raked leaves, done housework, stuff like that? Those are those are types of skills that you could use to get jobs in childcare or uh, landscaping or or uh, housekeeping or something like that. But that's not the point. The point was we got to the part where she had to write her objective on the resume uh, because when you're young, they like you to use at least what we're doing right now is they'd like you to use an, an objective so that way for two things one it fills space and it kind of also tells the person that you're applying for what it is you'd like to do for your career path what what direction you're trying to go so that way they can kind of help you screen for things that in other words we don't want to put you in a job that is not going to help you get to where you want to go right so back to the point about making decisions i said okay so what is it you want to do for work when you get out of school. And she said, I, I, I really don't know. I don't have any idea. Now, keep in mind, she's about 16. She's a, uh, well, by credits, I think she's a freshman, but she's a junior in high school, according to the computer. And so, she, I just don't know what I want to do, Kitterman. I, I don't know. I said, okay, well, we've been talking about this for two months since school started. Um, do you have any kind of a vague idea at all? I mean, do you want to be in medicine or doctor or do you want to... Uh, being uh, janitorial? Do you want to pick up dog poop like a pet butler? Do you want to, uh, um, you know, work at a bank or answer the phone in customer service? Do you want to work inside? Do you want to work outside? What, what do you think you want to do? I just really don't have any clue, any idea. And I told her, I said, look, so and so, if you don't make a decision for your life, somebody else will. And keep in mind, we're just doing an objective for your resume, and you're you're still in high school. It's not a big deal. You can change your mind as many times as you want. All we're trying to do is come up with something to put on your resume for this particular assignment. If you change your mind tomorrow, we can we can change the computer and print out another one. So it's not like you're making a decision for the rest of your life. Just maybe think of something you might like to do. Well, I just really can't think of anything. Okay. Well, I'm going to teach you something even more important than that than than this objective and this resume. And she says, "Well, what's that?" And I said, if you don't make decisions for your life, so-and-so, somebody else is going to make decisions for you. And she said, well, what do you mean? I said, for example, <clears throat> did you know that not to decide is to decide? And, and by this time, we're in the computer lab, so by this time, everybody else is like, stop talking and chit-chat and making their resumes, and they're, they're looking at us. Like, what? And she said, what are you talking about? I said, not to decide is a decision. So it is to decide. Not to decide is to decide. And she's like, what do you mean? I said, well, I mean, if you decide as a grown-up, let's say, let's say I decide, I don't know if I want to go to work today. I can't decide if I want to go. So I don't go because I can't decide if I want to or not. What just happened? She said, I don't know. I said, well, that means I didn't go to work. So by not deciding, what happened? Said, well, you didn't go to work. Right. So what does that mean? Uh, that means you don't get paid? That's right. And how many days can I not decide before I don't have a job? She said, well, well not very many. I said, that's right. So by not deciding, I actually made a decision. Not to decide is to decide. Do you see what I'm saying? She's like, well, I don't know. I think so. <clears throat> I said, so. If you get to a point where you need to make a decision, let's say a year and a half from now, two years from now, when you graduate, we've got enough credits on the board, and you're, you're good. You're going to walk across that stage, you're going to have your captain gown on, your diploma in your hand, 
And trust me, this happens to grown-ups all the time, even after they've been working for 5 and 10 and 20 and 25 years. Matter of fact, I had some people retire tell me, I have no idea why I was working this job my whole life. It's not really ever what I wanted to do. But they never got around to deciding on anything. And they just kind of happened to take the first thing that came along, and there they're stuck ever since. Never really thought about why they ended up where they ended up. They just kind of ended up. You know what I mean? So I said to her, are you sure you can't think of anything? No, I just, I, I really can't think of anything. I'm like, okay, well, humor me. Just say anything at all, and I'll help you come up with an objective to get to that direction. I mean, say you want to be a lunch lady. I don't care. What do you want? Just, you know, think of something. I just, I really can't think of anything, Kitterman. I said, all right, so-and-so, I'm going to show you how this works. You have officially not decided, which is to decide. You should say, well, it still doesn't tell me what my objective is going to be for my resume. I said, that's right. But watch this. And I started talking to a guy in a row behind her in the computer lab. I went one seat back and two seats to the right. And I knew the kid wasn't in my class. He was with some other class. We're in the computer lab in the library <coughs> at the school. I said, hi there. Can I bother you for a second? And uh, he says, well, sure. I said, I'm Kitterman. I'm the IJAG teacher. He's like, yeah, I know who you are. And uh, I said, what's your name? And he told me. I said, okay. Well, this is so-and-so. And And she turns around like, what the world is he doing? I said, so-and-so, do you know this guy? She says, no, I don't know him. Keep in mind, this is a big school. It's the second largest high school in the state. There's 2,000 kids there. She said, no, I don't know him. I said, do you know her? He's like, no. I said, okay. Well, she can't decide what she wants to put on her objective for what she wants to do for a living. So I need your help. Can you help me decide what she's going to do for a living? And he's like, well, how am I supposed to know that? I said, you don't have to know. She just can't make a decision on anything. So the first thing that you say is what we're going to work with today for now. And that will be, since she decided not to decide, your decision will become her decision until she decides to change it. Does that make sense? He's like, um, well, I don't think so. I said, okay, but just play along. What do you suppose she should do for a living? And he looks at her. <laughs> Keep in mind, these two people don't know each other at all. <laughs> and uh, I, said, I said, do you think she should be a nurse? Or do you think she should uh, be a veterinarian? Or do you think she should be a hot air balloon artist? Or I mean, what, what do you think she, she thinks she'd be a lumberjack, chop down trees? What do you think? And he looks at her and he goes, well, I think she should be in medicine, in the medical field. I said, anything in particular? You know, should she draw blood, do brain surgery, work with old people at the nursing home, uh, dietitian? What, what, do you, what do you think? He's like, um, I think she should be a registered nurse. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate your help. That's all I needed. You can go back to work. He's like, okay. So I turn around to her. And I said, all right, so-and-so. <coughs> Here's your objective. You ready? Type this in. She's like, okay. And I said, here's your objective. To build my skills and work experience so that I can end up in a long-term career as a registered nurse. So she types it all into her resume. And we went on from there. And they said, now keep in mind, somebody just made a decision for your life that doesn't even know you at all. And every time in your life, you decide not to decide when you have the power to decide and you choose not to somebody else will make a decision for you now it might not happen exactly like that you might not be able to pinpoint who it was that got to make the decision for you but you might not even ever get to look at them face to face like these two people did but if you go ahead and not make a decision for your life when you have a chance to little ones big ones doesn't matter if you choose not to make a decision that's a decision I hate to break it to you and you will get a decision by default. Not to decide is to decide. But instead of being the guy one behind you and two to the two to the side making the decision, it'll be somebody somewhere that you never meet in your life. That's never met you. Maybe you're a number on a report they're looking at, or maybe you're a number on a computer screen, or maybe 
Maybe it's... I don't know. But not to decide is to decide. So I encourage you, when you get a chance, to make a decision for your life, even if it's a decision you don't want to make. And you're back into a corner and you're like, I, I have no choice. I have to do this. Well, guess what? I have no choice is a choice. Right? And there's always a choice when you think you have no choice. Keep that in mind too. But today's lesson, not to decide, is to decide. I encourage you to make decisions for your life and empower yourself and take control of your own future. Have a great day.